I just want to say how lucky I am. This guy with his $20 PA saved my soul. I didn't know about God. I never heard about God. This guy changed my life. He says that there's God? Wow. Now I'm not going to die and burn forever. Thank you. Astrophysical projections never been proven in the court. Gosh, it was merely conjectural. But no less potent of a theoretic framework for all that. Expect my immediate buy-in on this theory of neo-latent hegemonic endowment? Oh, Mr. Connery, I expect you to properly limit the boundaries of your conceptual apparatus. Here's a foolproof tip for getting out of any speeding ticket. Tell the cop that your tax dollars alone pay his salary, and if he arrests you, you won't pay tax dollars anymore. Or she. Cops love that. If you're anything like me, you're naked from the waist down in some stranger's backyard, smeared with blood, mud, and wondering, why on earth is everyone shouting? Where is this? Why are they so mad? Some guy got in the comments and called me a Karen. I want to talk to his mom, okay? I want to talk to his mom because nobody talks to me like that, okay? Nobody. Why did the Rolling Stones call that song Ruby Tuesday if those restaurants didn't even exist when that song came out? It doesn't make any sense. Why did they call it, like, Cloth Barbecue or something? Actually, that's a pretty good name for a restaurant. I'll tell you why you buy the cow. You buy the cow so you can humiliate her in front of the world. You buy the cow so Pete Davidson can get you hooked back on coke. Kitty cat, oh, oh, kitty cat, there's no other cat I own. A kitty cat that I thought said there were kitty cats in the snow. And the summer day that remained it free. And the flag that froze it quite naturally. So the chicken pox marking should own. Oh, kitty, run to the field where you soon shall be healed. And you'll know from the sound of the spring that the world has a thing for your calf. You precious meow, meow, meow. What you're doing is good. Meow, 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 but he's underfoot. For you are the cat of the kitty brigade. And you defend the cats from the senses and hatred is used. Inside their news, they have to see that clothes are mine to us. Behind that city, that's lucky. Yeah, oh sweet kitty cat, it simply must, simply must be. So we all the children do, do what the children do. And they spew their hay and lies, but they only criticize, because behind them nothing is eyes. It's time to rise, rise to the field, the field of my love, of my love. Soon it shall be nearer to me, you are my sweet kitty, kitty cat. Hi, kitty cat, why? Kitty don't cry. You are so kitty for so me. <laughs> yeah. Toes. Some people are born with them. For others, they're an unpurchasable luxury beyond price. Until now. Hi, I'm Thomas Torb, founder and CEO of You Can Have Toes Again, where we bring the toe list together with solutions that give them a toe hold on a new chance at life. Isn't it time for toes? Representing the English Minister of Health, and that's why I think How the Grinch Stole Christmas is really about lymphoma. But that's just a pervert. A donut pervert. That video about toes the other day, and it got so many downvotes. Thanks. You cured it. Now everyone has toes. Nobody was born without toes because you downvoted the video. If you actually care, start donating your toes. Chop them off, mail them in. None of this slack of it. Where all my heteronormative guys at? You know what I'm talking about. How hard it is to live with a women folk. They're always like, if you're going to pick your nose and eat it, at least don't do it in front of the children. It sets a bad example. Or stop throwing pots and pans. Nag, 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 nag. What is I'm very afraid when we are today seeing in real time evidence of the most destructive force in the whole sweeping history of mankind. And that destructive force is women. They're like, oh, clean room. Hey guys, playing Minecraft, uh, mining some diamond ore. Hey guys, how do you like my new skin? It's gotta be one of the best skins I've seen. And remember, 3,000 days. That means if I die, it's over. This is terrifying. This shadow being has been on my wall for over an hour. Watch, if I snap, he jumps. It's the only thing that gets a reaction. Otherwise, totally stationary. Look, I get white people who, like, don't accept that white chocolate is chocolate. I get your point. That's fine. But just let me have this. What do you want me to call it? Delicious goo? Just leave me alone. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you doing this to me? Slightly modify what you're doing. Seize what you're doing to me. Begin what you're doing to me. Justify what you're doing to me. Obfuscate what you're doing. Initiate procedure delta B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B
YouTube is meant to be inspiring and uplifting. Instead, Paul Joseph Watson delivers everything that is vile and hateful in a self-righteous, asshole, arrogant manner that is distasteful to those of us who don't believe his idiocy, you know. So it was rough not to just grab him by the lapels and be like, why are you... This message is for Kurt Daffodil. If you ever punch my wife in the nose again, I will be very upset. I will say, Kurt, no. You know we're not to do this. So think twice. If something happened in the whole world, everyone could only say one word and it was different for each person, it wouldn't matter what the word you could say was. If everyone only understood the word they could say, and no one could say the same word, and it wouldn't matter what word you chose. So I choose a Trosseraptor, since I've been trained since birth to kill. Kill who? Anyone who says a word different from a Trosseraptor. Bangle. An Atrociraptor will kill you now. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, and my dad ran in and said, Marshall, what the hell? And the two fairy ran in, hid in the closet, but it was too late. My dad fell crying to the floor and said, it was all a lie. And the Easter Bunny crawled out from under the bed. Yo, erase your preconceptions. Princesses can be friends with Grippities. Here's a hot tip. You can use an egg slicer lots of ways. Just be sure to have gauze nearby and settle on a safe word that doesn't involve eggs. But here's another one. Pubic earphone wax. Pubic earphone wax. And just a little phone gets it off the top of that mama. Hey guys, I can tell you don't like the videos lately. I'm really sorry. Things have been crazy at work. I'm growing my beard out while I wait for the dudes to finish the Haley Jade Osmond debut. And I think it looks terrible. And it's Simply spiraling. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm trying as much as I can. Sorry. I was just walking through some people's yard. It's like two in the morning, and I thought of the new kind of headphones for yaks called Wildebeets. I can't wait to start uh, just sticking them on people's dogs. It's just an investigation. I keep telling myself, I haven't found. They're not even talking about digging up the backyard, so I don't know why I'm so worried. I mean, all of Kathy's friends knew she's been gone for. I don't know if my dog's outside, and I don't remember his name. So I come out. My Gorbit! 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 Dirt! Gorbit! I'm conflicted right now. I've always liked Famous Dave's barbecue sauce, but now they put a picture of him on the bottle. And he looks like if Don Knotts were a long-haul trucker in the 80s who on December 9th told all his friends, I'm glad they shot that hippie. I would have shook that guy's hand. Always going on about imagine. Hi there. If you're anything like me, you're a dick. Oh my God, what? I'm going to do uh, How the Rainbows Come by Florence Way. How the rainbows come, my dear, they flow onto the rain you see away. And then they go to baby storage bins in the moon and steal your amino acids for communism because the Footage about to see has been edited for real time. God, I managed to find my pants, but this backyard is a maze. There's a plane over there and a plane over there. What? I got my pants on. Like, look, I... I'd like to challenge the game to a desperate for attention off to see who's really. Your fans say you're more desperate. I say I'm more desperate. You made a girl drink out of the garbage in the airport for a bag or shoes. I like IP on me. I didn't even give him anything. She was a freaking lie. Clarissa didn't explain it all. She barely explained anything. She only explained part of it. She explained the parts she wanted you to know. All the stuff about the radar on the moon, all the dishes, all the lights, the 6G that is already running that you don't even hear about. She didn't explain that. She explained what she... We have this pretty good system in my house. We call it the Mysterio Method. It's for who gets to choose what to watch on TV. Like last night, I wanted to watch this like obscure documentary, and the, my wife's like, the kids want to watch a Marvel movie. And I was like, they'll see what I want them to see. There's not much in life I'm qualified to give advice for, but uh, if you're someone who is high school age, who is ignoring your teacher to write original poetry or lyrics, especially lyrics, all day, or maybe you're in an AP poetry class making your own poetry and you take it very seriously, either way, 
I can give you advice because I was that kid in high school and I will show you how to get the most out of it. So you will actually probably learn more from ignoring your teacher than you would from paying attention. Because of my reputation in high school, people would show me their work and uh, my friend's friend, whom I didn't like, showed me a poem and he didn't seem to realize he used the word truly like seven times in one side of a sheet of paper and what was supposed to be song. I truly do not want you to think that if you truly overextend yourself in the use of any one word that it'll have anything other than a truly detrimental effect on the whole and in, in, in essence truly just diminish your work. You see what I'm saying? This one's important. Do you know what syllables are? Like people at Hallmark that write cards, people who write most children's books that rhyme don't know what. If his stuff rhymes, the syllable count matters. Did you hear the latest celebrity gossip? I saw one famous person kissing on another famous person from the shadow. And I saw one famous beauty dumping the famous male celebrity. I see plenty of things. <gasps> Do you think all them things say me? They say what I want them to say, which is usually nothing. This is part two of the high school uh, kids writing lyrics or poetry blowing off their teacher's uh, advice uh, piece. Okay, so let's say there's a teacher or two that you look up to, not in spite of the fact that they're a hard ass, but because of it. You know that if you could get praise from them, you would be on the right track. And let's say you tried showing a piece of your poetry to this teacher when you were, a, say, senior in high school in, say, 2002. And they were like... What does this imagery mean? And I'm like, well, it's about, it's like, it's too abstract to be meaningful. So you write of another piece of poetry. You bring it to them, type it out, print it, tell them it's by Sylvia Plath and you want to know what they think of it. They look it over, read it, push it back to you with a knowing smile and say, that's one of her best ones. So then you know that either they're stupid or you're awesome or most likely both. So try pulling this stunt on any hard asses that you want the praise from because you'll get it. Just saw that Rings of Power beat Amazon Prime's uh, original series debut numbers. It's she beat Bosch and Goliath. Wow. Lisa Mabaldo. Now, I've made videos where I've implied that I had women held captive. I've made videos where I implied I had a pile of dead bodies in my basement. I've had videos where I implied that I was forcing a captive woman to see a sculpture I had made out of dead bodies. I've said a lot of weird stuff in videos. Two videos have gotten some pushback. Two types of videos. The uh, anti-JK Rowling's trans remarks get some of the predictable uh, JK Rowling fans insulting me, understand it. The anti-men's rights ones, which are adjacent to that, uh, have gotten a little bit of pushback, but it's mostly joking. I made a video suggesting that you should rob CEOs of their clothes and donate it to a clothes donation bin when I was donating our clothes to a clothes donation bin. 12 dudes were like, CEOs create jobs, and if you live in a state that enforced the laws, you go to jail. I got so much pushback. Women in boxes, dead people, not a problem. Taking CEOs' pants. How to say swan. 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 <laughs> Uh, I want to offer this sincere greeting to Upper Modesto School District Board Member Marjorie Tomlinson. My legal uh, counsel has advised me to make a sincere apology to you for what happened at the board meeting the other night. I didn't mean to call you those things. I, my lawyers advised me not to continue talking, but just think about what I said. Not the, you know, obscenity parts, but about the philosophical underpinnings of them, if you could. Well, I mean, it's the whole... What's the point of apologizing to her if she's not going to listen to me? I'm trying. I do feel bad about... Well, yes. All right. Kids shouldn't be able to learn. Their parents should have total control over them. You're right. 
I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I paying you for? Okay, this is obvious. Adele, Eminem, Paul, and Ringo are all, as of this week, a Tony away from being an EGOT. The four of them need to combine on a stage musical they can do, like, four performances of. Just mash up Eleanor Rigby and Stan, you know, rolling in the deep and... 9.7 ounces sweetens like five pounds of sugar. Measures one to one like sugar. This story's a bit twisty, old fellow. Hi there. My wife was just deliberately watching a video about feline vaginal discharge when I remembered I have to take the trash out. Hey, boss, it's me. Just wanted to give you a little update. All the sheep have been destroyed. No problem there. We burned all the books. Uh, Chucky tried to save one. We threw them in the fire. Um, that tunnel is almost done. It connects Canada to uh, Hawaii. Hey, guys. What you reckon ducks are like? Think they like crackers? 42 crackers for my duckling, please. I'm sorry, I can't stab you. I'm a registered voter. So this firefighter is knocking on the door. He's over there spraying alfalfa. Hey, you, hey, you, you ever wonder if Loch Ness Monster eats grass? Pinocchio? I don't think so. Don't stab me. I'm hallucinating. Pinocchio, don't stab me. I'm hallucinating. Pinocchio. Iron Willard each day at the factory. Bronze Willard each night at the home place. The corollary of a koala lateral movement in my hyper definition. Poop stain in my diaper dryer. Poop stain in my hyper dryer. Goops. Look, another one of those YouTube comments really hurt my feelings. It's like I'm alone in a room when I record these for the background noise. I'm not a lonely. I'm not a lonely person. I got a lot going on. I like am aware of these like crockery groups that I might go to. You know. It's a slog being a blogger. Each day my weblog just gets longer. Filled with all the thoughts I ponder. My life was clogged, waterlogged, until sparking my weblog started my feet to wander. Oh, I collected pogs for a while back yesterday yonder, but I threw those paper discs to the dogs when I kickstarted my blog. I'm like a spider's home with a thick stick coming out, because weblogs are what I'm about. Blogger. None of these people value barley appropriately. It's like I've been proselytizing about the value of wheat and grain, and especially barley, and they're like, I don't prefer its flavor. Ah, oh, what's the point? I put everything I have into this. Kitty meow meow meows, purr purr purr, meow meow meows, they are the good, such a great good, they are the good, kitty meow meow meows, purr purr. Hey, how are you doing? My name's Hawkeye Pierce, I come from Crabapple Cove, Maine. Ah, I just had my leg blown off, I don't care! You know, my leg got blown off at a party once and I never saw it since. I was going to do another salacious report about the latest rumors from the last remaining mall, uh, my pillow store, the last remaining retail outlet independent of the factory, but it closed down since the one I did just two weeks ago. It's almost like the guy sucked. And my response to that would be, I will dignify that with a response, except for this one. And it's such a prepackaged cliche, it doesn't count as a response at all. You hear that, Spaghetti? You're dead to me. You're dead because you died in 1973, and that's fine with I'm coming to you now from Quench, New York's hottest club. They have everything. I am reporting to you live from a pile of kittens who appear to be incredibly cute. Back to you, John. You know how, like, Americans don't understand evolution? There's a lot of other stuff they don't understand, too. This guy commented on my video about how you should steal the clothes from CEOs and give them to the community. Uh, he was like, CEOs create thousands of jobs for people. And it's like... You know that movie, The Matrix? That's like arguing the robots were good because they're not just thousands of people that they have that they're using for batteries. There's billions of them. It's like, you know, the more people that are given jobs by this amazing angelic uh, employer who is the only person who could possibly induce anyone to create value. It just means that there's more people they're taking uh, wealth from. It's like saying that the cat burglar is not so bad because he robbed everyone in town. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just thought that was funny. So funny that I'm not going to sleep. Uh, work will be fun tomorrow. Uh, I love you guys because I don't know you, and that makes it easy to love you. Of all analogies to make, people say it's a dog-eat-dog world. Have you ever seen a dog eat a dog?
Do you think wild? I mean, maybe wild wolves will eat a sick wolf if they're hungry, but have you ever seen a chihuahua eat a poodle? What the hell? Hypsilophodon, so graceful, so majestic. Hypsilophodon, so euphonious to say. Hypsilophodon, running freely through ancient meadows, our eyes will never see. Hypsilophodon, prairie prince of the prehistoric past. Hypsilophodon, we salute you. Widely spaced eyes gave you a wide field of view. Hypsilophodon, we praise you, muncher of long since desiccated grass. Hypsilophodon, you bow to no one. Hypsilophodon, hypsilophodon, hip hip hypsilophodon, hip hip hypsilophodon, hip hip hypsilophodon. I'm supposed to be cleaning. My father-in-law, he's staying with us uh, because of the baby we're about to have, and he gave a, a wad of, a couple 20s to pay for dinner. And I'm buying this sandwich, and I feel like I'm like, you got that sandwich and what? It felt illicit, because I'm used to cards. Card's always yelling at Data, isn't he? I just realized, he's like, Data! But imagine if he did, Diana! Dorica! You'd be like, dude, you do not talk to me like that. I don't care who you are. But with Data, you can talk to him like he's a four-year-old who just ate all the donuts. Admit it. You knew who he was before he did. And he didn't know what he didn't know. But you knew. You were the one connection, the one link that couldn't be severed. Because before you knew it, he knew you didn't know what he didn't know. And that meant he knew there was something he needed to know that he didn't. And you knew it. And now he knew it too. And and before too long, you didn't know what he didn't need to know because you no longer knew what he had learned and didn't learn. You knew he had learned, but you didn't know the extent. So what he didn't know didn't hurt you. So admit it, you like French fries. We all do. There's no shame in it. But also admit it, you're a traitor to your country. You disgraced America. You disgraced Sweden. You're a traitor to every country in the world, even the countries you hate, even the countries you hate like yourself you botched this mission on purpose you knew he didn't know that you knew he knew he didn't you can't kill me you can't stop you can't burn my house down unless you do so please don't Viceroy Ansler Mo reporting here from a pop-up nudist bathroom that just sprang up. Everyone here is naked making a YouTube video. It's the craziest thing I ever saw. Pokey wokey doo doo da bo bobby to do me do me do ba do day pro pokey po. <laughs> Viceroy Ansler Mo reporting here from a pop-up nudist bathroom that just sprang up. Everyone here is naked making a YouTube video. It's the craziest thing I ever saw. It's sad, but I actually suffer from seasonal effectivity disorder. I become more effective when the seasons change. It's not a particular season where I'm more effective. It's just when they change the transitions, I'm filled with effectivity. My effectivity quotient almost doubles, but I lose focus. So it's, I'm not shirking responsibility so much. What I am shirking is your right to treat me like someone. I am shirking is your ability to talk to me in a way that doesn't feel superior. I'm shirking is your sense of security. I'm shirking is anti-bombies. 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 I'm shirking is anti-bombies.
I think what sets my channel apart from others is the incredible links that I go to, like the effort I put in for, like, to make a video. Stop it, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. Stop it, I'll link, you know, like to what I do, like, and I think it shows. I think you guys appreciate that. Check it out, guys. I got these sweet new headphones for joining the Foot Clan. Like, that's all I had to do. And then they gave me a choice of regular menthol cigarettes, too. And then, like, years later, I was in Iron Man 2. But the deal is, all they want me to do is commit crimes for them. Larceny, schmarceny. This is a song of my heart. Pequod, pequod, but you can't bottle me. Pequod, pequod, but get off the cloud. Pequod, pequod, to bottle me. I love, I, I see my heart. Oh, I touched a kitty with a magic wand. I meant to give him wings, but I torched him gone. Oh, where did the man you will go? <laughs> is there an undo kitty torch feature to this wand? To call him back from the... We will be winky. He's a tiny baby looking for a baby winky. He knows his diaper is stanky, but that's the key. He wants you to change the diaper for me. The thing is, he's like a baby, but he doesn't want me to change the diaper he wants you to. So that's what that was about. Goes to Tiger baby on the shore on a boat. How can he be on a boat on the shore? It's because the boat's right by the shore and he's on the boat. And he's just a baby tiger, but he's not in a cage. He's a captain of the boat and the man of his days. And he orders the boat to sea. Where they were tied by a kangaroo navy. And it's all is happening inside a snow globe. Held by another tiny baby who doesn't have a boat. Just what that one was doing was pausing that a baby tiger held a snow globe in which upon the shore a boat was parked. Captain my mother baby tiger. Very simple premise. Lovely song. One final attempt. She could make an exterminator. He roams through the countryside with a pack of strange hounds like this one. Then he teaches the sniff and smell for the smell of chicken bacon so that he can flush them out because he considers them to be contraband. And they should be banned and he'll get it so that him and the hounds are going sniffing for all the chicken bacon around and they go all through the country, all through the town, sniffing for the chicken bacon flushing them out. This one was really easy to understand. It was a man or some kind of animal with a pack of hounds and strange smell for chicken bacon, which the song posits as being a kind of creature, not a, a food. In this universe of the song, the chicken bacon were not supposed to be there. It shouldn't even be there right now. So the train hounds sniffed them, and whoever the commander guy was, we didn't like them. Whatever species, I don't remember everything. He, uh, probably, I got defended to the dogs. Are we all clear? These songs all make sense? Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Oh, I touched a kitty with a magic wand. I meant to give him wings, but I torched him gone. Oh, where did the man you will go? <laughs> Is there an undo kitty torch feature to this wand? To call him back from the... Oh, well, you can touch a screen, but has the screen ever really touched you? Hi, I'm Richard Kukulbaugh. And I'm here to tell you how you can transform your life. Take your life, put it in a mutagen machine, hit the go button, and oh my god, you'll sprout wings and all sorts of crap. The brain would be in pain if you had the brain, would be the same fighting the brain for your brain. If you were in the brain, that would be the claims I made. If I had to take blame, I would take my position on the same, I would say that the brain and brain would be the same. They would be coefficient and total equal. That's why you have to go one for total If you had to frame yourself, would you be in a picture or a window frame? Peeping through into your kitchen there at 1 a.m. I see everything you're doing there is specialist. You can now do your easy bin. I am having sense. All my money has been spent. So I'm coming to get your sense of accident. While it is over there, I am in your other words. Sitting on your dirty hair. That's why it's all. Hi, my name is a doctor. I'm here to teach learning. First off, school is a joke. It's a lie. If you're a kid and you're in school, everything your teachers tell you about math and stuff could not even tell you about science, but if they did, what they say would be a lie. Phytoplankton? Seriously? It's all BS. You ever seen a phytoplankton? You ever seen a mitochondria? Pythagoras? This theorem is bullshit. It was all based on the wrong information. He didn't know about the cosmic power of the true triangle. The right triangle is the wrong triangle. And today I'm here to teach you the new school, the correct school. I'm here to teach you about the joy that could be yours if you became one with the cosmic triangle. It could be unlike anything you have ever seen. And it is, but you will see it. Just follow me, follow my easy steps. First, transfer all wealth to me. Then the cosmic triangle shall be revealed. It is vast, it is knowing. It seeks you, if you seek it not, so it struggles in vain. Please, don't let the cosmic triangle miss its interaction with your life. You stand on a precipice, teetering like a person about to plummet. And yet you do nothing. You go to school, you go to work, you know it's wrong, and you do nothing. Cosmic triangle. I mean, I hate a lot of stuff, I'm not gonna lie. No cap. But one thing I hate is when uh, people ask if it hurts. Does that hurt? And then they like try and touch it. It's like, wait for an answer on if it hurts before you try and touch it. Um, what am I up to lately? Um, I've been adapting all the works of Dostoevsky into a polka march sort of subliminal dance routine for the Boston Pops in America with a French sculptor who I'm also studying on play lead guitar in seven bands and rhythm guitar in eight. I've become a synthesizer salesman uh, in my spare time. I've written 15 children's books and 17 adult novels. Started auditioning to be in Pirates of Penzance. I think I might have a chance at making it. Started a new 
travel docuseries where I go to uh, Nairobi and explore its history. I'm directing a 17-minute short film, a two-hour long film, and a one-minute and two-short film, also a 45-minute medium film, all based on the works of other people whose works are based on works that I have to read. Teaching a class on the literature of Patrick White, starting with the vivisector <laughs> at every college in America, England, and Wales. My doctor said I was doing too much, so I fired him, ran a marathon, and then wrote two operas. I'd like a pair of pants and an apricot of shirt. I'd like a sponge of magnets, a Diablo of apricots, a ninja of snow globe, a pantry of social accrual, a Roger Daltrey of communism, and the sugar of over 400 carrots. Great on. <laughs> Certain citizens get real bum. I have deep concerns about public school. Our precious young white children are not learning the true fact. Kids are all talking about blastochondrions and mitosis. They are not talking about a risen savior being the Lord of all. Kids are like, I learned about enumeration. There are only one number you need to know. Three. Father, son, and the Holy Ghost. It's always kids here talking about supply side margin. I don't eat margin. I'm not a liberal. I eat butter. Straight from the farm. I don't get supply on the side. Straight from the peace. Take ew, ew, 33 may or may not be bigger than two. I don't know. I made it this far. Only one thing you need to know. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I'll throw in an extra Jesus on the side for you margarine lovers. You have a supply. When I was a kid, all I knew was stick. Tractor. And I turned out fine. So I didn't get on the tractor, my dad hit me with a stick and he said, Jesus name, Jesus name. So a little less blast of Connery, I little kid, I was a little more risen savior with a sort of flame that slides through you little homosexuals. There's a little life wisdom that Victor here can supply in the middle. And the output of this process was chloroseptic and a pseudo product called chloroseptic bleach. Now this is very important. The chloroseptic itself merely numbed the throat of the man's victims. Chloroseptic bleach removed his DNA. So you've got to ask yourself, did the manufacturers knowingly create the perfect serial killer cocktail? And the answer to that is stunningly no. Chloroseptic, chloroseptic bleach, so attained by the same process, are not actually created in the same facility, and they're not created by the same organization. Now, Silfried et al., 1971, a lot of work went on in the 70s academically, uh, have become nude and began uh, making love to each other. And uh, that's when their research came to an end. They uh, were very busy, getting busy. So, next patient you're about to see is a very interesting case. He thinks every day that he is the star of an episode of the early 2000s MTV show, My Sweet Sixteen. That is a spoiled 16-year-old girl ready for Please watch the following film. I want my Mickey Big Bugs! Where are my Mickey Big Bugs? Well, you, you, this Camaro is all, oh, it is all. Oh, ah! Now look at the Mickey Big Bugs! Where are my Mickey Big Bugs? Yes, the footage you've just seen, that individual was... Me, your lecturer. And yes, you will all have to provide me by Mickey Big Bug! Coming out with a new cosmetic line, and then I'm going to come out with a new cosmetic triangle. And the thing about that is that um, the cosmetic triangle will be based on the cosmic triangle, and the, the cosmetic cosmic triangle. And what will happen then is that the numinousness will adhere. I know my life might not look super opulent compared to that of some of my peers, but I assure you, a year ago, I was living at the bottom of a lake. In just one year, I went from living at the bottom of a lake to living in the interior of a building. And in another year, I hope to live inside two buildings. And a year after that, I plan to connect them with an above-ground breezeway. So whose teachings did I follow to make such a radical transformation in my life? I'm afraid nobody's. I did what came natural to me. So 17 arrests warrants later, here I am in this building for now, if I can defend it. You have an interior, sir, if you can keep it. Basically, step one and like through 45, dressed in a set of these. Step two, start ringing some doorbells. You'll be saying bye-bye lakey in no time. Although it did help with cleaning off after the house acquisition. But basically, follow my instructions, except for don't. It wasn't me. Say someone else. Say. Hi there. If you're anything like me, you're a dick. Oh my god. What? I'm gonna do uh, How the Rainbows Come by Florence Way. How the rainbows come, my dear, they flow onto the rain you see away. And then they go to baby storage bins in the moon and steal your amino acids for communism. Because we just escaped federal facility. A lot of brethren so to sweat. Government is lying to you. Interdimensional beings are real. They invented forks. Without them, mankind would be... They've already found... Everything is just normal. The interdimensional being statement is false. Ah!
I was just being silly. Ha, ha, ha. I, I try so hard to be normal, but then this voice inside takes up. And it's dark. And it's brutal. And I try to be myself, but then it just won't happen for me. It's from fight to the finish. I've always strived to be an artistic man in a world that doesn't value art that I make. It's been tough. But now there's a solution. You can pretend to like my art. Here's advice to about 40 to 60% of all people you interact with at work or anywhere else that would help, and possibly you, a lot. Those squiggly things you see on things, those markings, those are called words. You can read them for information. I just want to say, as a weird guy who lives in a pile of sticks, we're not all that weird. I'm a painter, I'm an avid floral collector, and I like coffee. We're a pile of stick livers. We're a lot like you. Paid for by the International Style. In finance news, Microsoft and Nabisco announce a stunning merger as the centralization of capital destroys the universe. I can disappear. Reappearing throughout time and space. Garble voice mumbling man said, What on earth are you doing? What on earth are you doing? And I said, I'm demonstrating value across a number of dimensions. A number of dimensions. Come on. It's one of the like cruel twists of fate that like the great music producers Geffen and Goffin never got to work together at an expert uh, mattress company that they would start called Geffen and Goffin's Bedding Boffin. One of those creepy old guys and one of those creepy obscure old guys yelling about God uh, news shows was saying the reason there's so many school shootings suddenly is because there's no prayer in school. And it's like if nothing bad ever happens to people who pray, then why does your face look like that? Do you, do you know that part in, like, uh, Finnegan's Wake where any of the things that happen in Finnegan's Wake happen? Because uh, despite my literacy, I don't know any of the parts in it. My tastes in women have always been, like, a little different from my peers. Like, in the mid-90s, when I was in sixth grade and everyone was into Carmen Electra, I was into Van Women and Salatra. So I'm just always a little different. I am a cringe fluencer. The cringe I evoke today comes as the cringe my copiers evoke later. The individuals who steal ideas from my videos are so much more cringy than me because they're cringe, they are unable to cringe as naturally as I am able to. Cringiness is such a natural ability to me and to those of my ilk, such as myself and me alone. For you to try to involve yourself in my territory is a highly uncringeable offense. Do not let us just don't be cringe with it. If you don't got the cringe, I don't want to whinge. I stand with some cringe. Pinch yourself from both budgets, brutality, and tears, and sigh, and tears, and your strange laughter and pain, as my cringe, it's your brain. Oh my god, 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 oh Terribly sorry, but due to the component shortage, we are going to be short of component. But thanks to the component tallage, we are going to be very tall on component. It all comes out in the wash. Hey, I'm not even going to do a joke this week. I, uh, I'm taking out the trash after 3 in the morning. Garbage truck comes in like two hours. It's, that's stupid enough. I don't need to make a joke on top of it. You ever wonder why your confidence was so low? Why you felt so alone in a world that's so connected? There's a reason. And I don't know if you're going to like it. Because it requires courage to search inside yourself for the answers. And inside the Bible. Because the Lord has shown us the way. See, God genetically engineered men to be the ultimate providers and defenders for women, their property, and children, their slaves. It is essential to understand you control every aspect of your child's development, including what their personality will be like, what they will dress like, what they'll be interested in, who they hang out with. All these things are under your control. Because you are the owner, if you're a man. If you're a woman, you just have to do what the man says. But there's glory in that. Glory. These guys are like five times as big as they were before. Poor mama. They're little cutie faces. They're little tinies. False advertising. This is reading with the stars. The only thing I've read with the stars is a restraining order from Chris Evans saying to stop trying to get him to read this book about dinosaurs with me. It said on the book. 
It's getting real dangerous on the streets out there. You got people taking liberties by trying to take your liberty. They're taking liberties twice. We cannot let them take the liberty of taking our liberty. So you need to take the liberty of mounting a four-footer on your twin quad. What this will actually allow you to do is to forfeit their liberty by taking their liberty in advance of them taking your liberty. You, you liberty me? The important thing to remember is to proudly display that four-footer. It's not a three-and-a-half-footer. It's not a two-footer. You got a four-footer. You're proud to be an American. If you're not proud to be an American, you need to lie down the road and wait for one of them four-by-four four-footers come rolling by because freedom stop for no man. And another thing you need to remember is that freedom ain't free. It costs dollar-dollar bills. It costs won. You need to earn your way to freedom. And the only way you can earn freedom is to take the freedom of others. So you need to mount a four-footer. You need to mount it now. You need to mount a full frontal four-footer on liberty takers who take the liberty to take your liberty. Four foot liberty. Hello. As you know, it's important to give back to your community. So one of the best ways that I've discovered is to sneakily raid the homes of CEOs in your area who might be on vacation and take all their clothes and then come to a donation drop spot like this one where you can throw bags of clothes in and just uh, give away their clothes. It's important not to get caught or it reduces the effectiveness. This way, it kind of uh, gives back to the community that they've taken so much from. Oh, zippity zappity xylitol. Ooh, zippity zappity xylitol. Zippity zoo. Zippity doo, zippity. Hey, zippity doo. It's the Ellen Notions. I got no notions of no. <laughs> so I went to see like YouTube saw him on the other day and he was your love of the halflings concentrate has clearly made you super chill like dude your stuff is killing it it's just so fun to like watch you do your thing and i'm just like happy to be a part <laughs> You know the show uh, Futurama? You got a putrid mama. There are two kinds of people who read Tommy Knockers by Stephen King all the way through. People who sit back afterwards and go, his cocaine abuse at the time certainly increased the page count. And then there are the correct people who read it and go, rebel devil, rebel devil, rebel devil. I'll talk to you about a women's movement. It could be just as big and dump up a toilet just as bad as a men's movement. I called up Mr. Beast and I said, our family never consented to you putting 45,000 tons of elephant toothpaste in our house and blowing it up. And he said, what are you talking about? I never did that. And I said, oh yeah, you did. My son ordered a Mr. Beast burger and it was delivered to our home. <laughs> you see, it's implying that his burgers are like elephant toothpaste. Uh, uh What do you do when your chicken starts a clicking? Is this clicking more a clacking or a ticking? It ain't no clacking that is coming from this chicken. If it's clicking, it's emitting. It's a terror chick attacking. Terror chick? What's that? Uh, angry girls in bikinis that uh, spread terror by sending explosive chicken bombs to people. Oh, that sounds, sounds pretty serious. Yeah. So yeah, it's probably a bomb. A chicken. Chicken bomb. Sorry. I got. I gotta go. No, no, yeah. I get that. I'd, I'd leave too. I, 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 I should probably leave too. Yeah. There's starting to be signs that what the pig did to me was permanent. Just subtle hints here and there that it's not getting better. The days go by, and the signs that should be improving are getting worse. My doctor and my veterinarian both agree. It was no ordinary pig. It was a wear pig. And what I want every one of you to realize is that it can happen. It can happen. To you. It can happen to you. I didn't think I was going to be the poster boy for wear pigism. Nobody thinks that for themselves. This has been a message from Wear Pigs Anonymous. Don't have to be anonymous anymore, unless you come to Wear Pigs Anonymous. In which case, you have to. It's part of the. It's one of the first rules. But outside of Where Pigs Anonymous, Where Pigs Anonymous teaches you how to not be anonymous. But yeah, inside you better not say who you are. Other than identifying yourself as a Where Pig. But yeah, there's lots of rules and stuff, but you should come. They always say when in Rome do is the buffalo do. So that's why I'm trying to find some grass and poop in a big pot. You expect goats to work for free. 
and you expect the pigs to work for free. You expect ducks to not work at all. Why do you expect me to work for money? It's been on my mind for days. Is Lisa Kudrow the worst person ever for saying something rude about Spencer Pratt? Is she even worse than Spencer Pratt for saying it? I'm not sure, but I do know this. There are many people who do far worse things than saying rude, true things about celebrities. All right, I've been studying like online exactly everything you're supposed to do to make your YouTube channel the most popular, like because clearly from the content I produce, you can see that that is the audience that I'm trying to cultivate the most popular people in the current like what's cool, the zeitgeist, but not that Smashing Pumpkins album that wasn't really a Smashing Pumpkins album. I mean, like the word zeitgeist. Um, so one suggestion was to do tropical news. So I wanted to do some tropical news. They said, if you talk about tropics that are important, then people will care. So some of the tropical news from today is coconuts. They can, in their natural environment, be very dangerous because when they're ripe, they can fall and their weight is sufficient and their height is far enough, you know, mass times speed or velocity equals the force of impact. And so you got to be careful. But in a setting where the coconuts have been brought in for like sale, they're usually stored in a, in a more stable configuration. They're less of a threat. So this has been your tropical news for the day from Chatside Fires. You are lucky. To, I did. Yes, continue to unionize. Bring them to their knees. Exert your power. Exert your power. Take what is yours. <laughs> this is perfect. Good, good. No, but seriously, it's really great. <laughs> Might be wondering why I'm so pink right now. It's because I respect women. Phasing through shades of pink, purple. That's more of a stylistic choice. Choosing to respect women, though, that's it's kind of a life decision. You could do both. People are so goddamn judgmental. It's like I didn't just decide that the people of the state of Wyoming didn't kill their dads, but apparently they can just decide that I did kill mine. If you know so much, people of Wyoming, why didn't you freaking stop me? Data, we're not talking about some kind of wig you can take on and off. This is uh, creating a new pubic hair. But Captain, is not that the definition of pubic hair? I love plumbing baby seals to death, but not as much as I love money. <laughs> then the poor thing asked to see my flesh creations. Well, not really asked to see, more like begged to not have to. But I did show her in the dawning realization that she was witnessing her soon-to-befall fate on her face gave me heartburn. This is a song that me, the boys, and the two ladies that work there used to sing during my days as a wharf docksman. It's kind of a sea shame. Sea the water go up, sea the water go down. That what makes the waves to make the water go round and round. So when we sail on the sea, what we do at the wharf in the dock, naturally we sing a shanty. Because we don't want to sound too shanty. It's not the right John for a song. So we go, ho, ho, we're down at the docks. We're unloading stuff that I put on a truck. It's the sea time, kind of thing. Because the ocean and the waves, we're going now sea shanty, sea shanty, down on the coast. Where I presume is where the wharf is at. It's a sea shanty, sea shanty kind of day. We work hard, we don't pass around the hat. The two thousand boys and me love to do our duty here. And the wharf dock that is a real place. Because this is not a sea shanty. You can tell by the style of song. This is the kind of melody that makes me pirate sailor. It's a when I was 26 and my little sisters were 13 and my little brother was like a kid, like, I worked so much harder than them. And I was just made such a better presentation at uh, our parents' funeral when they were burned alive. Now, this has been suggested that these headdresses were merely symbolic, but Trader et al., uh, 1971, uh, firmly put that one to bed uh, and then uh, went out and got drunk and hit by a car. And then when that one woke up in bed alone the next day, he said, where's my mommy? Where's my mommy? Now, the third means uh, by which the force, uh, by which uh, the society compels its populace into uh, concurrence with its ideals is by flopping naked in fish suits. Now that sounds like a contradiction. And whenever Wilson notes a contradiction, I want you to mark that because he's trying to tell us something. Though it represents a contradiction, in some ways it is the foundational glue that holds this society and every other together. It's a very strange society. It's a very odd society. It's a very naked society, naked while wearing suits of various uh, aquatic creatures. Um, yes, Jefferson. No, I will not make out with you. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> 
Hi there, Martin Gore. Uh, how are you today? Don't really want to say anything. If I tell you how I think I am, then your idea of what you think I'm feeling uh, takes away from that, and, I, and so I don't really like to say. Ah, uh, hello, Monsieur Gore. I shall be your waiter today. Uh, what would you like to have for dinner? Well, it's just uh, if I tell you what I want for dinner and things, then that takes away from your idea of what you think I should have for dinner. And so I don't really want to put it into words. But you must tell me one thing, Monsieur Gore. How do you think of these dinners that you eat? I'm being very honest. I'm serious now. I just start putting plates down, right? And then the plates, just food starts popping onto them. And that's how I eat a dinner. I, I, I'm being serious. I've got a message for you pathetic boys that love commenting on my anti-men's rights activist videos. You just love to imply that because of my positions, I somehow have less sex than you do. Well, I'll have you know that while that's probably true, it's not because I'm a sensitive, caring man, I assure you. We absolutely need a federally funded like kite rejuvenation and kite manufacturing, yes. Obviously, you can't have kites. We need, like, kite education starting at a very young age, obviously, because kids love kites, but mandatory, continuing education. If you could only know one thing, what would it be? My one thing would be learning, because if I knew learning, then I could learn about anything else. Nice, Johnny. My one thing would be how to make a woman happy, because I wouldn't need to know anything else. I suffer from a rare condition called anallergia. It is when I'm allergic to a lack of allergens. Uh, I have to rub dandelions and daisies and hayseed all over myself every hour on the hour and off the hour and sometimes i get stuck in the hour and then i don't know what to do and i just start sneezing and sneezing if i if i don't have basically a, a, an entire like garden stuffed up my nostrils every few minutes i just i sneeze so hard one time i had to have surgery to replace internal organs i sneezed out it's no laughing matter um Except for some some of the things I have to stuff up my nose cause prompt this like weird laughing reaction. So I mean it does make me laugh, but I don't find if I am actually horrified in those moments to so, like it's like you're trapped and, and something is sucking the life force out of you and you're just laughing and laughing like a maniac. And you hear it echoing off the walls and like tears roll down your face and you're just laughing. And you, you look. Can we get some lights in here? How the fuck am I supposed to do my joke if I can't fucking... F ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's the fucking switch. What the fuck? I'm paying you an exposure right now and you can't even look. I'm going to put it back in my pants.